first thing you need to make VR work is vision. If you can trick it, you can trick the rest of your brain and body reasonably well. But touch, that's something we do every day without even thinking about it. And when it's missing in virtual reality, it's one of the first things that you want. One of the main design goals for touch was that it give you hand presence, the feeling that your virtual hands are really your real hands, that they're there with you. We made hundreds of prototypes, refining on ergonomics, the types of inputs we had, the type of tracking that we had. And a lot of the assumptions you make at the beginning of the process don't necessarily pan out. With Touch, what we had to do was make a solution where it doesn't feel like there's anything there, but when you do natural gestures, those things show up in virtual reality. You need to track its position in 3D space. You need to perfectly track its orientation. And you need to do all those things with very low latency. Some of the decisions that we made with Touch, we weren't sure if they were gonna work. And 300 prototypes later, many did not. It takes a while to find that right magic where you pick up the, the device and you pull a trigger and you're like, that's it. And getting there and really finding the way to make it work, it's pretty incredible. When we first got uh, Constellation tracking fully integrated and working, that just magic of one-to-one, -one, your hand is interacting in the environment was an absolute breakthrough. So with hand presence, there's a real social element that comes in. It's one thing to see somebody's head kind of move around, it's another thing when they can actually wave at you. The other person comes alive. It just feels like that person is there. It feels like you are talking to a person that is standing right in front of you. What's next? A lot of what's going to matter is actually what comes out of it. What have we enabled? And we're just scratching the surface there on the experience side. I'm really most excited about shipping this thing once we get hundreds of thousands of these things out into the world and developers are using them every day and that we really see what we're capable of doing in VR. I think this is the golden age for VR where a lot of people are going to make experiences that are just remembered. The first example of something that no one had seen before.